UFC Fight Night, Moreno vs. Royval 2, otherwise billed as UFC Mexico, took place on February 24th in front of a sold-out Arena CDMX in Mexico City, Mexico. The gate number was not officially released, but the event took in at least $7 million from ESPN's exclusive broadcasting contract, not to mention revenue from sponsorships and merchandise. But how much of the pie did the fighters take home? Welcome to MMA Money. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Let's jump into the first fight. Kicking off the main card, Manuel Torres took on fellow lightweight Chris Duncan. After some tense grappling exchanges in the first round, Torres was able to toss Duncan to the canvas, take his back, and sink in a rear naked choke for the submission victory. Duncan earned $18,000 on the night, while Torres took home a win bonus, as well as a performance of the night bonus, and earned a total of $82,000. The second fight saw Yasmin Halrigi take on fellow strawweight Sam Hughes. Halrigi defended Hughes' takedown attempts and used her superior striking to keep the distance between them. Hughes refused to back down, but took serious damage along the way, including a cut on the bridge of her nose. The fight went the distance, and it came down as a unanimous decision victory for Yasmin Halrigi. Hughes took home a total of $44,000 while Halrigi earned a win bonus and made $68,500 on the night. The third fight was scheduled to be the Contender Series alum Raul Rosas Jr. taking on the tough winner Ricky Tercios. However, it was announced on the broadcast that Rosas would be unable to compete due to an illness. Instead, we saw lightweight Daniel Zellhuber use his range to batter his opponent Francisco Prado in an exciting kickboxing match in which Zellhuber looked sharper for the majority of the fight. Prado had moments and showed toughness, but it was Zellhuber who came away with the unanimous decision victory. Prado brought in $50,000 for the fight of the night and earned a total of $66,000. While Zell Huber took home a win bonus, as well as his 50 k fight of the night bonus, and a total on the night of $82,500. The co-main event between Yair Rodriguez and Brian Ortega almost ended before it started as Ortega's ankle appeared to buckle during the pre-fight introductions. He shook it off as the fight began, but absorbed hard shots and ground and pound from Rodriguez throughout the first round and looked to be off to a rough start. In the second round, the momentum shifted as Ortega was able to get Rodriguez to the ground, cutting him open with elbows and maintaining position until the end of the round. In the third, Ortega again ended up on top and this time was able to sink in the arm triangle choke and take the submission victory. Rodriguez earned $110,000 to show, along with $11,000 in Fight Week incentive, for a total of $121,000. While Ortega brought in $125,000 to show and $125,000 for the win, $11,000 in Fight Week incentive, and a 50 k performance of the night bonus, for a total of $311,000. And finally, the main event of the evening, flyweight Brandon Royval defeated the former champ Brandon Moreno. It was a bit of a low output first round as both fighters made reads, but the fight started heating up in the second and third as Moreno connected with several right hands while Royval had success with kicks and knees up the middle. In the championship rounds, Moreno looked to have the harder shots, but Royval produced an insane volume of punches to close out the fight. It was an incredibly hard fight to judge, but the scorecards came down as a split decision victory for Brandon Royval. Moreno took home $110,000 to show and $16,000 in Fight Week incentive for $126,000 on the night. And the winner, Brandon Royval, took home $70,000 to show and $70,000 for the win, $6,000 in Fight Week incentive, coming out to a total of $146,000. International commissions typically do not disclose fighter pay information, so the totals I've shown in this video are just estimates based on reports and past earnings. As always, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this, and click the links on the screen to catch up on the most recent ones.